Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Krubicon Keith here and today I'm talking about Halo because I played it for the first time ever. Let's take a look! There's one last lifeboat, quickly get aboard before it launches! Oh no, oh no! Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. So Halo Combat Evolved was released, uh, I think, 17 years ago in nine, 19, in 2001 by Bungie, who did lots of PC first-person shooters. So it was released a very long time ago, and only today I've finished it. I've been playing it for the last few days, and I'm going to talk about it. Should people play it in 2018? Is it still relevant? And uh, so first of all, I'll tell you why I never played it. When it, when it came out, it was an uh, Xbox launch title. I didn't have an Xbox. I was a hardcore PC gamer, so I had no interest in it whatsoever. It, it kind of slightly passed me by, because um, a few years after release, Microsoft did release it on the PC, and had a lot of issues on PC, like very powerful PCs were having trouble running this kind of not amazing looking game compared to first person shooters that were on the PC at the time. But I did buy it for PC back then, I can't remember what year, I guess in 2002 or 3. Uh, and it played relatively okay, but I just really didn't like it. Within the first few minutes of the game starting, I heard the grunts, the covenant grunts running around making those childish rah, 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 kind of noises. And I thought, whoa, this is a kid's game, this is, abs this is ridiculous, I have absolutely no interest. And that was that. Never went back to it. Well, I did go back to it some years later, actually many years later, which is many years ago, when I did get an original Xbox, put in Halo Combat Evolved, stupid squeaky grunt noises again, over here, he's over here, oh my god, it was just so frustrating, it really bothered me, but I kind of got past that a bit. Uh, got to the part where I was driving the, the Warthog Jeep and I found the controls for that so bad and it came in like in the second level I wasn't too enamored with the first level and again I lost interest and stopped playing and then I got an Xbox 360 Halo 3 came out for that and I remember thinking that looked amazing I played that a little bit uh, probably stopped after the first level I can't remember why because I remember it was a bit more interesting and that was it um, I mean, I've collected all the Halo games, my collection is huge, so I mean, it's like any video game collector, I have a lot of games that I don't get a chance to play, I mean, just ch take a look, this is my Halo collection, I think I have everything there, I'm missing the latest one on the Xbox One, but um, I got this, the Master Chief collection on Xbox One, and I thought it was a nice collection for Halo titles, so I said, you know what, I'm finally actually going to sit down and play this, so I played the anniversary, the anniversary edition of Combat Evolved came out on the Xbox 360 with much improved graphics, everything was kind of remade. This the exact same game, but graphically it was changed. And then on the Xbox One they brought it out again, so it's that much more graphically enhanced version in 4K resolution because of an Xbox One S. So I played the game uh, from start to finish over a few days on the Xbox One and I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I got over the grunts and the sound that really bothered me and annoyed me. And uh, I thought it was a very, very nice game. There's a great feature on the Xbox One. I think it's on the Xbox 360 as well, where you can just switch back with the press of a button to the old graphics, so you can see what it was like versus what it's like now. Now, obviously, on the Xbox One S, it's still in 4K even on the old graphics, so it's not very representative of the original Xbox experience. As a game, I thought it was really nice. As I said, um. I guess in 2001 this was really really groundbreaking the fact you could only carry two weapons lent a lot of strategy to what weapons you were going to use throughout the mission the Covenant themselves were pretty uh, intelligent uh, the way they adapted to your fighting style now we, we see that all the time now but back 2001 17 years ago that was relatively relatively new um, There was a lot of criticism of games back then that AI was always rubbish so I thought that was really really cool uh, one thing that surprised me, and I had no idea about, was this was almost like a horror game t towards the middle when the Flood are introduced. I never heard of the Flood. <laughs> I'm not too into Halo, so this stuff just passed me by. So when the Flood was, was introduced, I was like, oh, this is really interesting. The kind of zombified alien grunts and stuff running around, and elite soldiers, and they're all... Well, yeah, it was cool. Now, the little s squiddy things running around, they look ridiculous. 
uh, both the old graphics and the new graphics, but their arms are going like this. And every time I see them, I don't feel fear. I feel hilarity. They're so bad looking. And um, one criticism of the anniversary edition was that the flood was slightly ruined in it because in the old version with the older lighting and darker style, it was meant to be much more oppressive and scary. Now I flipped back and forth between the two. I'd still prefer to play on the anniversary graphics settings. It just looked so much better. But I can see their point. There's a few things um, leading up to the introduction of the flood. A few visual references in the old version that weren't really um, shown in the the anniversary edition. But I still don't. I don't think it took away from the game at all. So overall, it was a really great experience. When the flood came in, it just changed the whole dynamic of the game. And I, as I said, I did not know Halo was like this. It was a very horror-based game. The story writing was, was really cool. I, I never knew the Halo was a weapon. And as we progressed, we we realized the Covenant were trying to use that weapon and. The flood are a threat to the whole galaxy and it's up to the Master Chief to destroy Halo and, and that's what we did. I thought it was really really cool, I enjoyed the story, voice acting wasn't amazing but it was okay actually. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh the vehicles, man the vehicles. The, the Warthog was horrendous, it was so bad, I hated every minute of driving that thing and as I said that turned me off playing it on the original Xbox. It was rubbish. Some of the the Banshee was ridiculous. It, the way you control it, I just oh, it was so annoying. You, you fly up and then you're constantly dropping until you you can just go forward. Ah, oh, ridiculous. The Warthog, though, as I said, just stupid. You, it's almost like you're using a camera to drive it. They got that so wrong. And in the very last level, <clears throat> when you're escaping from the the main mothership, can't remember the name, and it's about to blow up. You have to drive the Warthog. It's the last mission. Oh my god, I was ready to throw my controller at the wall. It was so frustrating. Uh, I tried it once or twice. Actually, I tried it three or four times. And I was ready to just say, you know what? This is the end of the game anyway. I don't need to go through this hell on earth. Which is trying to drive that warthog through this obstacle course. Literally an obstacle course. Ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the worst criticisms, criticisms that I have. The bloody vehicles were crap. The ghost thing, the floaty around. Covenant. Kind of motorbike thing that was cool i, I love driving around on that and uh, so they are my thoughts on halo combat evolved is it still a relevant game today well what does that mean i mean i still play commodore 64 games today so every video game is relevant as far as i'm concerned to people who aren't interested in older games is it worth playing i'd say definitely yes and uh, especially on the anniversary edition now i like old blocky graphics a lot of people won't but um, this anniversary with the graphical overhaul definitely will make it easier for them to get into. Um, and that's all I have to say about it. Combat or Halo Combat Evolved. The original gets a big thumbs up for me, even though it was the not really the original. Okay, hope you liked the video. See you on the next one. up the combat around. I want everyone at this station. Men, keep your eyes down range, fingers on your triggers, and we all go home in one piece. Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir! Lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Good luck, man. Now would be a very good time to leave. We're disengaged. Going for real safety. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Hell if I know. We're landing on it. here is stronger than I anticipated. They seem to have the entire region secured. The ring has some kind of deep religious significance. They call it Halo. They believe that Halo is some kind of weapon. One with vast, unimaginable power. If Halo is a weapon, and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. That's not going to happen. Give them hell, Marine. Get out of here before it's too late!
If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.